know two of our finalists already. We already know, of course, Eric Taylor and Dominic Garini headed through to the finals. Now one of these four men will join them. And many unique opportunities for Jack Evans, a guy that's held titles all over the world. That all over right. the world. He has traveled everywhere. He's been everywhere. He's done everything. Last time he was here, he jumped right off of the balcony right next to us, Wadsworth. Well, it'll be interesting to see that obviously he and Derek Dillinger, no strangers. They both were in that six-way scramble. Chase Oliver was expected to be, but sat out due to some injury concerns at the time. And that's how Dillinger got in. And by the way, Dillinger won it on that night. But Chase Oliver coming off of his huge win in a six-way scramble at Absolution 15. Marino in singles competition, not something we're used to seeing. He is a tag team specialist with PME. They held the belt for 1,025 days over three different reigns. But there are four men in the ring. That's what he's used to. And look at this start, the athleticism of Jack Evans. 
But I'll tell you what, Wadsworth, my eyes are on one man in this match. It is a man on a mission and a man who is now out of the ring, and it is Derek Dillinger. Well, and here's an aspect that Riley Rose was up here last night with me. Oh, wait a second. Marino. Jeez. Marino and Chase Oliver throwing Jack Evans down. He managed to get enough leverage on the way down as he slid off of Derek Dillinger's body. He ran at him over. I was going to say, Chase Oliver, a unique little side note when it comes to his record is the first round was, was probably, as much as it was for most people, their specialty and what they would expect. That was actually kind of his Achilles heel. He came in last night, one in five in one-on-one -on -one competition right. over the last year. But in situations like this, multi-person matchups, he has been 5-0 and oh in the past year. Yeah, this has been his specialty, those multi-man matchups. But one of his singles losses, as you talked about, was to that man right there, Derek Dillinger, who has been trying to make this the summer of Dillinger, the shooting star to break up the count right there. Guess what? Summer's almost over, so if he's going to do it, it's got to be Tonight, he has been so close, and we've talked about it so many times. The spinning kick to the head by Jack Evans, who is so impressive. Marino Tanaglia do not sleep on his abilities. Oh, and it would be a huge consolation for him after they lost those tag team titles and absolution to come out of this weekend as the new intense champion. And look at his athleticism, getting to showcase some of his skills, using Derek Dillinger as a springboard oh. and doesn't get there right into the top rope. And Dillinger sends him out right there as Marino did not get all of that one. He looked to spring off of Dillinger's back and he did not accomplish it. Oh, Chase up and over, was looking for a moonsault out to the floor and Ziggy grabbed his foot as he was coming down. And now grabbing her, I mentioned it earlier today, what he has coined the weapon of sass destruction, Ziggy Heim. And a razor's edge to the outside. Ziggy Heim taking down all three competitors and Dillinger standing tall. He's using her again. We saw that at Absolution 15. Just the leg drops from Ziggy Heim in the hands of Derek Dillinger. And that is a weapon that none of the other three men have at their disposal. Now sending Chase Oliver back into the ring. But and here's Chase, a one-on-one -on -one situation. Chase immediately with the forearm shot up and over, landing on his feet on the apron. Derek was coming in, catches that knee. Chase rolling back in, rolls him all the way through. Looks to be positioning, but here comes Jack Evans. He catches him in the combination flatliner. DDT now calling Marino on. Marino up, he's caught. Power bomb down on the Dillinger. Chase Oliver is so incredibly impressive, going for the pin, and Evans breaks it up at a two count. But his athleticism, his power was on full display at Absolution 15 when he hit that Death Valley driver in the corner. You like what he brings to the table, and he is quick. That's how these finishes have come in these four ways. Somebody quickly capitalizing on a moment. I don't know if there's anybody quicker than Chase Oliver or more athletic. Oh my know, goodness. Jack, Jack Evans will challenge that assertion anytime, but there is a reason Chase Oliver. Oh, the standing sky twister. Followed the blockbuster into the standing sky twister. And yeah, Jack Evans is incredibly impressive. I meant it from the AIW regular perspectives, because boy, we saw some things commander at Absolution 15 that I've never seen before. Oh, Marino, oh, elevating. Oh my you God. wanna talk about innovation, Marino. Stacking Chase Oliver up on Derek Dillinger, kicks the leg out, causing the power bomb him. And they're diving into a one-man variation of Sunset Dreams. Well, that was a two counts. an incredible move by Marino, and if this was a one-on-one, -on -one, I think it is over right there when he hits that variation of the Sunset Dream off the top. Dillinger's next snapped, and Ziggy Heim's going to check out our man on the outside, but here's one-on-one. -on -one. Oliver and Evans, can one of them get the pin? Oh, no, Marino, Marino's though, back there. up onto the ring apron, catching Chase Oliver, dragging him in. We've seen him many times do this, setting up for that DDT onto the ring apron, but now he's got Oliver and Evans. And, oh, they both managed to hold on to the middle rope. 
Marino finds himself hung out to dry the feet oh. on that bottom rope before he plummeted down to the ground. And landed right on his back on the unforgiving wood floor of the Odeon. And you got to think Marino T in a world of hurt after that forearm from Chase Oliver. And now you got Evans in the ring with Oliver. Dillinger just waiting, waiting, biding his time on the outside. Hey, what is Dillinger charging down on oh a sunset God. bomb into the guardrail on Marino Tenaglia. Oh my God, Wadsworth. Can Chase Oliver, Oliver capitalize? Oliver's got him up, package, pile driver, center of the ring. Both men down, Derek went into that guardrail just as hard, and no, Evans kicks out. If Evans doesn't kick out, it is over. And I know that's an obvious statement, but that's the setup you need in a four-way. Oliver hits the big move in the middle of the ring. I thought he maybe took a second looking to see where Derek Dillinger was, and that second allowed Jack Evans to kick out. But Oliver firmly in control right now. Oh, wait, Evans is up behind him. Evans, German suplex. Spider German suplex right there. Now he's on the top. Can he hit the big, the 450? Now looking for it. 450 and he hits it, diving in, but Oliver rolls out of the way. And Dillinger with the sunset flip into the corner. He's finished a lot of matches this way. Oh, those knees into the corner. But there's Oliver, he's got him up. He's looking for that corner. Death Valley driver and he gets it. Oh my goodness, you have Mario Marino on the outside, devastated by that sunset flip into the guardrail. And now here comes Ziggy Heim, buying her man some time. There's just carnage. This is nonstop action, Wadsworth. I said, we've seen in the past, Chase Oliver has no problem taking Ziggy out of commission. That's not the first time it's come up. He kicked her head off right there, that spinning kick right to the face, and Ziggy Heim is motionless in the ring. Oliver's headed to the floor, though, with everybody down in the ring. Dillinger and Evans, smart on their part, rolled to the corners. And now we've got two chairs in the ring. Marino on the ground on the outside, Dillinger in one quarter, Evans in another. And Oliver setting up, just what is he thinking right here? You've got to capitalize, you've got to be quick in these matches. You cannot take this time, Chase. Well, that's exactly where Oliver has specialized in the past. That's why he has been undefeated in these multi-person scrambles. Oh, he is setting Ziggy up, looking for that Death Valley driver. No! No! Oh my Dillinger God. uses the chairs to spring over the top, sacrificing Ziggy Hine, but getting it done with that sunset bomb. And that Covers is two, it. three. Final cut, scene over. One step closer to the summer of Dillinger, but he's been this close before. He's been in the finals before, Wadsworth, too many times. One more shot for Derek Dillinger. And that is the key right there. Derek Dillinger getting to the finals is not a surprise to anyone.